Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Get Rid of My Crap. Yeah. Okay, I sound like a swamp monster because I'm very sick, but I wanted to film this and get this done. I'm also playing around with some different lighting in here. I went out and bought something. Let me just see if I can. So, um,. I apologize if it looks a little off. I am playing with it right now and trying to figure out the best way to do it here. So anyways, if you like declutters, I will link my playlists um, either above or below. And we are going to jump into decluttering my lip collection, which I, I feel is way too much. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to go through this. Um, I've even got a side container over here. This is all my Buxom products. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I love these. I have the lip polishes in here, the full-on lip creams, and the wildly whipped lipsticks in here. These are all deluxe sample sizes that I've either gotten from like sample kits or uh, reward kits or stuff like that. So yes, keeping these. Love Buxom. Love their lip products. So in this container here, I have lip glosses, and I don't think I'm going to get rid of too many because I do love a good gloss. Um, there are a couple in here. These three right here. Two of them are Bombshell, and one of them is Hard Candy, the button up your lip ultra wet. I just got these from a friend of mine. Um, I want to try them out before I decide what to do with them. She ended up sending me like a six to, I don't know, eight, ten, twelve, a bit. She sent me a big old box from it, like with tons of little stuff in it. And this was some of the stuff in there. So I want to try these out before I get rid of them. These are just two of my NYX Butter Gloss. I actually have more, but I think a couple of them are in my purse, and then I have some in my backups. These are the shades Creme Brulee and Fortune Cookie. I love the NYX Butter Gloss. They're very moisturizing. They look great on the lips. Just a light, sheer tint, uh, nothing too overpowering, and they smell like cupcakes. Great, great gloss. This one is from Bare Minerals. This is the... Um, I think it's the Gen Nude one in Fly, and this is a nude shade with glitter in it, and while the formula smells like Play-Doh, it is such a pretty gloss. I'm going to do a swatch for you here. Such a pretty gloss. It is a bit sticky and tacky and whatever, but I really do like the shade. I like the nude shade of it, so keeping that. This is one of the Too Faced Sweet Peach glosses. This is in Papa Don't Peach. It's got the cute little peach detail on it there. Um, these smell amazing, and they feel really good although I have to say as much as I do love this gloss I don't feel like it's one you have to rush out and buy unless you're looking specifically for that collection like if you're a Too Faced collector go right ahead but they're not bad <laughs> they're just not oh my god outstanding I need to pay 20 some dollars for lip gloss but I do like this one so I am going to keep this one I got these two Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors I have them in with my glosses because I don't feel they are a full liquid lip they're more of a gloss um, they're not very opaque I have the shades devotion and embrace and if I had to be honest with myself. First of all, they smell like cherry, like fake cherry vanilla. This is Embrace here. And then this is Devotion. I haven't played with these too much. I think I've only worn Embrace a couple times. And I really do like the color of that. So I think I might hold on to these and see if I can get a couple more uses out of them uh, before I pass them along. I have two glosses from the Balm. Uh, these are the Read My Lips lip gloss infused with ginseng. I have Bam and Zap. Bam is more of a um, lighter shade, although it doesn't look it there on, on my skin. Um, and then Zap is a bright, bright pink here. Um, I used to have Gur as well, which was this really pretty mauve brown type shade, uh, but unfortunately my dog chewed it up. So anyways, um, I don't know. I don't really wear these that much, but if I did have to pick one, I think it would be Bam, which is this top one here. I don't really reach for Zap, so I think I'm going to get rid of Zap. 
In this little container here, I have my lip treatment type things. Um, I have the CoverGirl O Sugar lip treatments in shades 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, and 10. I love these things. I love them. They're so, the packaging is really cute, obviously. And then it's just like a sheer lip tint. This is number 10 um, gumdrop. And it feels really nice on the lips. It smells like a fruity lime. It, it smells like summer. Honestly, it does. But I really enjoy these ones, so I'm going to keep these. Plus, I think I'm almost done. Yep, I'm almost done with that one. So... I do go through these. I like to chuck them in my purse and use them for an easy day. So I'm keeping those. And then these ones, oh, the cap came off. These ones are the Flower Beauty, um, I think they're called Lip Butters. I, yeah, I think they're lip butters, these ones here. Um, I picked these up for super cheap. I think they were like a dollar a piece when they were clearing out of Walmart because Flower Beauty is no longer available in Canada. So I snatched them up while I could, but if I'm being honest, I haven't reached for all the colors here. Um, let's see what I got. I have number two, Tempting Tulip, which is a nice springy baby pink. Let's see, I have number three, Rosy Future. The formula on these is really nice. It, it It's like a, almost like a tinted balm, which I'm not a huge fan of. I have Princess and the Peony. I think I really like this one. Yeah. Coat Honeysuckle, which is one of my favorites. This one is Cherry Chiffon. And then this one is Wispy Wisteria, which I think is more of a purple fuchsia type shade. I don't know. I like the formula on these. They are very pretty. They're very moisturizing, but if I had to do anything, I think I would get rid of the Cherry Chiffon and Wispy Wisteria, which is these last two here. I don't wear dark colors in a sheer as much. I wear them usually in a matte formula or a liquid lip, so um, I think I'm gonna pass these along. Also in here I've got two little sample sizes of the uh, Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments. I'm keeping these, I love these. And I've also got these two Milani um, Moisture Lock Lip Oils, which I haven't opened yet. So I actually think I'm going to either pass these along or put these in a giveaway. I did like these when I first tried them. I had like, like these are honestly like probably my sixth and seventh tube, but I found that the more I use them, the more my lips felt drier after using them and I just I'm not a fan of that so I think I'm going to um, either pass these along to a friend or throw them into a future giveaway that'll clear out that section a little bit all right so now we're up to five total products declutter good job um, next we're gonna go into my liquid lipsticks and I'm just gonna use this little container here for um, the items I'm gonna get rid of because it's just a little leftover brush container. So these first two I know I'm keeping because I haven't tried them yet. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. Um, I just picked these up and I haven't even really swatched them yet. I got Topeless. Ooh. Pardon my my nose there. So that's Topeless and then this one is Spicy Blush. They have other bold colors, but I'm not really a bold lip person, so... Oh, that's right up my alley. That'll be nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm keeping these two because I haven't played with them yet. I've got two NYX Liquid Suede uh, Cream Lipsticks. I have the shades Tea and Cookies and Pink Lust. Pink Lust I've worn before. Um, I like it for the summertime with like a bare face and just that bright, bold lip. It's so pretty and I really do like the formula. It stays put pretty much all day. Uh, this Tea and Cookies, I think I've only worn maybe once. That kind of looks similar to the Revlon. 
Let's just see here. Because if I have two of a similar color, I'll get rid of the one that I don't. Oh, no, not even not even close. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to dig over here onto the other side here. I have a color jolt in the shade Never Bear that I think might be the same shade as this. And if it is, I'll be getting rid of the NYX one. Oh, that's much more pink. Okay, so I'm going to keep the liquid suede and see if I can use it in the spring here. On the other hand, this color jolt one that I just swatched it with to see if it was comparable. This one is just a little bit lighter and a bit more baby pink, which I won't wear because it washes me out. So I'm actually going to declutter this even though we're not to that section yet. I've got three of the Balms Meat Matte Hues liquid lipsticks. Um, I've got this little one in Committed, which I love. It's like a perfect shade for me. I just love it. And the formula on these is so nice. They dry down within a couple minutes and they're so comfortable to wear and they stay all day. Um, this next one is Sincere, and I know I'm going to keep this because I love that. Uh, they also smell like mint chocolate chip ice cream, so there's that plus. And then this one is in Charming, which is a bit darker, but how often do I wear that? Hmm... I don't know yet, so we're going to keep swatching because lipsticks are hard for me. Okay, I have these three little sample type things. I have a Kat Von D and two Stila Stay All Day. Um, I have not yet used these. I got these from the same friend that sent me the glosses, so I'm going to give these a go before I decide to declutter them. I've got two of the Tardis uh, lip paints. These are the ones that Bunny came out with, uh, Graveyard Girl with them, and they are in the shade Texas Toast, which... I love this shade. It's either going to be everything for you or it's going to make you look dead. And for me, I love it. I don't care if it makes me look dead. And then I have this one, which is called Swamp Family, and it's just a nice classic red there. And I like the formula on these, so I am for sure keeping these. I've got these two Milani Amori matte lip creams. I've got the shades uh, Materialistic and Mattly in Love. This one here is a brown, and I'm for sure keeping that because I think I only own like one other brown in my collection, so yes. But this red one, I don't think I've ever worn, like ever, and it's really pretty, but... I'm going to keep both of these because I do love the formula on these, and even though I haven't worn the red one that much, it is gorgeous, and I would like to try and get some use out of it, and plus it seems to be a bit more of a blue-toned, which is nice. It'll help whiten your teeth, and it just looks good. This one is a ColourPop Ultra Satin in Magic Wand. And it's one of the few, like, nude, nude lip, good lipsticks I have. I love the formula on it, and I'm keeping that. And then this, uh, this is where it gets hard. These are the Ofra um, liquid lipsticks that Manny MUA did with them. These three are balms that I'm all going to keep. This is the Alme uh, Ages Head and Chills lip treatment. And then I've got two of the Revlon Kiss balms. I've tried the coconut. I haven't opened the strawberry. But if the formula is anything like the coconut, I know I'll like it. So I'm keeping those. I've got the Bite, the mini set that they came out with over Christmas. And I... I kept it in the packaging because I swatched it, I just haven't opened them yet, but I do know that I love Bite Lipstick, so I'm for sure keeping this. I've got this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Sultry. Um, I've had this a while, but this is one of my favorite go-to colors for fall. It's really nice, and the formula is really nice. I've got this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Grunge, and this is the only other brown I have in my collection. I love it. I love it. So nice. I don't wear browns that much, but like most of my lipsticks are for fall. Let's be real. This is a Pacifica Natural Minerals Power of Love lipstick, and it's in the shade Nudie Red. I like it. It's like a My Lips But Better shade, and I do reach for this, so I'm keeping this. I've got two Bite, uh, I guess they're like lip crayons. Uh, one of them is in... Shebliss and one's in rhubarb. I don't think I've even swatched these yet. Ooh. Yup. And then this one's rhubarb. Ooh, yep. Okay, I need to use these some more. I need to put them in my everyday drawer. I've got three e.l.f. matte uh, lipsticks, lip crayons. The, the, they're the matte ones. I've got Berry Sorbet, which is a 
purpley shade, almost a wildly purpley shade. I don't think I've ever worn that. Rich Red, which is one of my favorites. Love this. Such a beautiful red. And then I've also got Wine. Oh, that's nice too. Okay. Oh, what's going on there? See that? What's going on? It's popping out. I think it might be broken. Yup. Great. Okay. So I do love the color of this wine, but it's broken. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then I've never worn Berry Sorbet. So I'm going to declutter this and keep the rich red because I do know that I use this. I've got this Kaylin um, Tinted Lip Balm in Acid Pink, and it came with a little applicator on the top here, almost like the Benefit Cabral stuff. Um, I only use this in the summer. It's not really a balm. It's very drying. It's more of a matte formula, but I use this underneath that NYX Liquid Suede lipstick, and it just, it provides a nice base for that and lasts all day. It is a, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'll show you the thing again, but I'm not gonna swatch it because I guarantee it will stay on my hand all freaking day but I am keeping this I do like this I got this Tristique uh, mini lip crayon in the shade chili red it's just a nice little red it's almost it's almost similar to this elf one I think and I'm already keeping the elf one so I'm actually going to get rid of this because I've only worn it a couple times These two color jolts I'm keeping this is uh, stripped down and talk back red and I love the formula on these I love the staying power on these the red one is just like, well, actually, it's just like the e.l.f. one. Do you see that? It's pretty similar. If given the choice between the two, what would I keep? I think I'd keep this one because the formula lasts longer. But I love this one. But I love it. There's so many other reds. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. matte lip crayon. I do like the formula, but the color jolt lasts just a little bit longer. So I'm going to keep that. And then this is the shade stripped down. I love this one. It's so basic for me, but I love it. It's very nice. And like I said, the formula on these are super comfortable. This is a Pixi lipstick in the shade Rose Naturel. I haven't even tried this yet, but it looks very nice. I'm gonna keep that. This is a Noya lipstick in the shade Current News, and I love Noya lipstick. I haven't used this one too much, but I love Noya lipstick. It's so nice, and this looks like a shade perfect for fall, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This Kat Von D uh, mini studded kiss in Sexer? I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's a very bright, vibrant pink but I like the formula on these and it's a mini so I'll probably go through it quicker than a regular lipstick keeping it. This Bite Mini in Spot Show. Oh that's beautiful. Yep, keeping that. This is going really well. Okay, I have this NARS in Jungle Red. I absolutely love this lipstick. I love it. I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's so pretty, so nice. Keeping it. Burt's Bees Lipstick in Blush Basin, I just picked up. I haven't even swatched it or anything yet, I don't think. I picked this up because Jam Beauty, Jessica Braun, suggested it, and I like a lot of her stuff, and I like that too, from the looks of it. So I'm going to keep this so I can use it. This is a Rimmel Kate Lipstick um, in 45. It's one of the nudes one, and this is the only one I have from that, but I really do like the shade. It's really nice, nice nude shade there. This is just an e.l.f. La lip exfoliator that I keep in here. I love the lip exfoliator. It's really nice. This is a Makeup Forever lipstick in Rouge Artist Naturale. Um, I got this from the same friend that sent me all the other stuff. And it looks like a shade that's right up my alley. Never tried a Makeup Forever lipstick, so I'm going to keep that. This NYX uh, Butter lipstick in the shade Little Susie. I think I've only swatched and it's a bit too bright for me. I already have some brighter pinks, so I'm going to declutter this, although I do like the formula. I have one Maybelline lipstick in the shade Lust for Blush, and this is a beautiful uh, fall type shade there. I like to wear this in the fall, and I do like the formula on this. These two are by Flower Beauty, and I picked these up with the rest of it. I did declutter a lot of the other ones that I had. Um, this one is Baby Buttercup, which is a nude, and I like the formula on it. 
And then this one is Ginger Lily. They're a bit warmer than I usually go. I think I'm going to keep Ginger Lily, which is this shade here, and declutter the Baby Buttercup, which is the nude there, because it does kind of wash my skin out. So I'm going to put that right up there. So overall, I'm getting rid of 1, 2, 13, which out of my collection here does, doesn't seem like a lot but for me it's a lot because lip products are a guilty pleasure of mine I love to snatch them up whenever I can so this is progress for me and then the rest of them I'm gonna start doing um, project pans this year as well as doing an everyday makeup drawer now that I have a better setup and kind of rotating through so if I don't touch something for a month then maybe I can pass it along kind of thing but this is just a good place to start for me Alright guys, so that is everything I have in this video for you today. If you like declutters, like I said before, I will link it either in the cards above or the playlist down in the description box below. If you think I did a good job on this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this lighting here. I think I have it set up okay for this type of format, but... I just want to get your guys' opinion here. If there's any type of video that you would like to see in the new year, please let me know. I am here for you, and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time. Bye, guys. Yeah.